In today's video, I just want to show you how I fix my digital converter box that uh, I have here, which is a full HD. So folks, you've seen it. It's made by Ematic, E-M-A-T-I-C. So it's just a little box with a lot of technology and HDMI, uh, coaxial, and composite, which is the yellow, red, and white. The traditional one so you guys been seeing the uh, the videos I've been making about these uh, different stuff about free to air and all the good stuff so this is the box so before I fired up this box yesterday I decided to you know do quick glance and whatever put the thing and when I fired up the box it didn't turn on for some reason I don't know what happened but uh, it is a mechanical issue which um uh it happens most of the time on electronics because of manufacturer in a hurry to fix things and you know ship it and try to get things done just like e every other human being uh does stuff so if i get you closer you will see what i'm talking about here so this is the hdmi box but when I fired up the thing. I realized that uh, something is not working. So I was making the video. All of a sudden, things just doesn't turn on. I push the button, the remote, nothing. I put the batteries. So here is a little transformer that you guys can see. I don't know if you can read that here. Zoom a little bit better. Sorry about that move. Trying to take glare. This is the transformer right here. If that's what you call a transformer. But this is the one that has a problem. One of the legs are not properly soldered. For some reason, maybe the robot or human, whatever was doing it, then uh, double check, cross check, and test this device. Maybe it works at that time. The contact is not properly, uh, uh, um, you know, it's not properly grounded into the board, the circuit board, so it's losing power. So I open it up. I saw a little spark on this leg right here. See there on that corner where the copper color is there, right there, the corner right there. So I decided to push the, the component inside. And I realized that um, uh, it's not... It's not working then i moved that thing and i saw it um push the the power on it started working so which really really drew my attention that's the thing i don't normally do this stuff but i think this is a transformer right here if you guys can read that a b l dash e e one nine dash five v l y 2012 maybe that's the manufacturing date who knows but this box came from China. Anyway, I think it's made in China. I don't know right away if it's assembled in the U.S., but I'm in the U.S. <clears throat> this is the thing I'm dealing with here. But I'm going to fix this problem today because I have some few components. I have uh, devices here I'm going to be utilizing to make this possible or to make it a working receiver. As uh, as I fix, uh, as I say, so, and right here, right on that corner right there, that's where the trouble is, okay, I'm going to hold it this way, you can see what I'm talking about here, so by the way, let's do it. Oh, sorry, I was, the lights. So, right here, I have um, a soldering wire, a soldering iron. And uh, you guys can see, zoom out. This one, I think this is a 30 watts or something like that. If I can read this. It's a low wattage. Yeah, this is a 30 watt. It's indicated right there. Probably can't read this. 
This one I don't remember because it's already burnt out here. But this is huge, massive. You can see that. That's for big boys, you know. So I decided to grab some of my stuff and just uh, see what I can able to utilize. And here is a solder that has a, is a 40 is a 40 by 60 rosin uh, core wire solder. See that? And I think it's already built with the flux on it. So we're going to try this and try to take this thing apart and fix it. And stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. Let me remove the board. I got some few screws I'm going to be taking here and there. Just a few screws. Stay tuned for that. So you gotta take this part right here, it's just how it does slides all the way in here. Or I can just able to pop this thing out and do it from there. The power source is out. And if I want to disconnect this, I can able to do that as well. And just try not to go too much on this guy. So Two screws from the back. All right, now everything. I took this guy out. This one is the empty box now. Look at the technology. It's just a simple mechanism they put in here. And this one is not even resting where it should. I don't know what it is. Well, anyway. This is the board. Okay. This is the board. Casing is right there. So let's check the problem. Is from the back. Okay. So if we look at this thing keenly, it's from this guy right here. Which if I flip it over, ha. See that? They missed the spot. Let me zoom this. Check it out. This is the one they missed. This one right here. It's not soldered. See this? So that's the leg on the corner right there. I hope you can see that. On the corner right there. Okay, maybe right there. Okay, the corner right here, right there, is not soldered. So we're gonna fix it. Stay tuned. Quick fix. So I'm gonna decide now which one because of the board is just a little thing that was missing just right here, right there. I'm gonna just use the little 30 watt um, uh, soldering wire, which is this one here. I'll zoom back. This one here, I'm gonna utilize this and this big guy is gonna go down and let's do the solder. When you look at the entire 
thing it just brought me it brought uh, brought me to attention that it brought my attention that look at that the kind of work that is done here is kind of crappy work i don't try to disrespect people's work but you know for professional and uh, a country that uh, supposed to get more involved into technology how would someone make you can see like the board has already been tampered or maybe it has been worked on but I, I don't just get it I'm I'm kind of disappointed with this well let's try and fix it all right well the iron is getting there warming up the iron and make sure that I got the uh, the right thing I want to do on this guy right here all right folks uh, this is the spot right here see the spot right there so that's what I'm gonna amend okay I'm gonna try and amend trying to fix it so the iron and this is a solder let's see see it's hot so let's see what we can do here I'm not professional to do this so a lot of people are good at it out there so please don't criticize me for not trying I'm trying at least I caught the problem and I'm ready to fix it I'm willing first try I miss I hope you're on the camera I don't fix circuit boards like I said always like I've been saying I think we got it let's take a look Let's take a look. Looks like the flux is on it. Like, see that? Probably someone who's gonna work on it in the future thinks probably is burnt. But I think we got it. Just one shot is there. Look at that. I think um, I think the thirty watt uh, solder soldering wire probably is too hot for it. Compare. This is the solder right here, and that's a soldering wire, a high iron right here. So let me zoom out again, and so you guys can see what I did. At least I tried. Look at it. Okay, not too bad. But remember, if this black spot wasn't there, it would have been close, just like any of these professional soldering machine. But hey. I did try see so I hope this one helps someone and this is how we fix the machine the receiver and make sure you subscribe like and share this video and uh, this completes our our fix and I'll put it, I'll assemble everything and fire it up and show you. Thanks for watching. JW Solo USA. Love you guys all. Bye for now. Okay, back inside the case. Everything correspond right and this guy is gonna go back in here Okay
Well, it's all done. So, plug in back the wires where they should be. The proper plugs. Same way as I got them out. Okay, this one in, all in, and that's the main power. It's all in now, and everything is good to go. So, what I'm gonna do, I'll power the device on, keeps fingers across. We're not going to be wrecking things here. We're fixing things. So I'm going to flip this thing over so you can see the LED. If it's going to, let me turn this light off and see if it's going to show indication that it's on right there. Okay. Let me take it off from the glare a little bit. Okay. I just plugged it, the device. There you go, right away, say boot, see that? So right now, if the antenna is plugged, you see it's on channel five. It works directly, perfectly, that's the word. Let's turn it off, off, power off. Power on. So let me grab the remote control. Here is the remote, you guys can see, the remote is right here. I'm going to use the remote now to make sure uh, if it follows the commands, okay? If you really follow the commands. So, see that? Symmetric is the name. So here is the power button. But before that, let's just go first the channel. See channel six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It works and volume right here. Volume. It's not gonna indicate. Then power off. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Power on. Booting. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Have a nice day. Bye. All right, folks. It's all fixed. It's all fixed now. See all the, the screws are all in. Three. And the other one back here. Everything just like the original took the plastic off. And this is what I want to bring to you guys' attention right here. Is a hundred volt to two hundred and forty volt, and look at the watt it's using. Okay. On the corner right here, you see, this thing use less power, eight watt, and this manufactured date is April twenty eighteen. So just few months ago. Six months ago. It's manufactured six months ago. Cematic. So it's 8 watts. So I'm designing this box because of my um, uh, portable generator. So DIY, in case something happened, I can able to use my free-to-air. I'm not going to be burning more power on my battery bank. It's 8 watt. 8 it's not even taking an amp. Okay? That's how small, small power this thing is taking. Really small. And here is the, the main. And we can power this back on and see. It's going to say boot. See that? All fixed. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. And have a beautiful day. Subscribe, like, and share. And give a like. Bye for now.